Welcome, trackies. You have been hand selected to boldly go where no man has EQ before. This is the new T equalizer by Traction in the new Doll Essential Collection. are here with your boy Obey Who Say What's Up Records Lair Production here to give you another tutorial and we getting ready to review this equalizer and they've been so nice at Traction they let me work with it on the site so I can just go to the site and load my sound in it EQ right here save me CPU and all that Nah, I'm bullshitting y'all like shit. <laughs> nah, man, but this didn't really cute, man. You know what I mean? So, you basically can see what they telling you, man. It's beautifully simple. This equalizer provides all the key functions to allow you to sculpt and mix frequencies with the integrator analyzer. You can quickly identify areas of the frequency range and deploy the configurable five bands for precision adjustments with up to 30 dB gain, various shapes and cues for each band. There is ample compatibilities for even the most demanding mix engineer. This stunning user interface can be scaled allowing users, allowing users to take advantage of modern high-rise displays and visual key mix slash mastering tool. Okay, so basically what you got? You got five bands. Each band can be cut on and off from here. Okay. So, you basically can take any band across the whole spectrum. You have these, you right click to select disable shape solo or remove the band. And you got a low pass, low shelf, peak, notch, band pass, band stop, high shelf, high pass. All right, we're going to go through each one. So, we're going to make a low pass. All right, this is your low pass filter. This basically will put an endpoint to the audio and you can control if you want the slope to be a stronger and also when this slope gets stronger it bumps up like so you're gonna have a boost at that point uh, you can't d select uh, different notches like some EQs you only can do this bump pop so that's what you got with your low pass then you got a low shelf. This is your low shelf. And you can do the same thing with your cue, make it more steeper. Make it less steep. Whatever one you want to do. And then got your peak basically a bell filter same thing you control your control your cue with either your mouse or the knobs down here then you got band pass this basically will make a pass you see the shape is great and this only go in that band and you can still do the same thing with the cue you can make how wide your band how wide you want the band to be you got a band stop uh, some plugins will call this a notch filter it's doing the same <coughs> excuse me man I got cut it's doing the same thing as not the same thing, it's on the opposite of the uh, 
band pass. The band stop. It's coming down into the frequency and the shape can get wider and cutting it out. And you got a high shell. Same thing, you can adjust the cue. And this the other function. If you double click on any node, you can solo the sound. Solo the sound just by double clicking on it. Enter is to change any presets. This is uh, the final one, but not the least. The high pass will be mainly used right here. You can change it here, or you can right click on it and change it. High pass. And basically, do the same thing as the low pass do. You can cut the frequency to as far as you want, take the whole frequency out. Same thing, you can use the cube how steep you want the slope and you got this little setting wheel right here which it basically is your output gain and then I don't know the solo gain is I ain't never move it so I ain't gonna tell you nothing wrong I don't know if that will be to whatever one you got selected or what that is. Because it don't got a uh, mid side on that. So I guess it's just extra gain. I don't know. But you can pick what you uh, analyze. You want to analyze. So you can see both of them going right now in the pre and the post. So you can pick. The purple is the uh, post. The blue is the uh, post, the purple is the pre. Yeah, purple is the pre. So you can select what you want to see right there in the settings. And this right here, a reset to the last sentence you just had in. Just going left or right in your presets. You can double click in the presets to go change it to it. Uh, just select A or B of the plugin so right now and I'm working on B so if I go to A this is my original setting inside of my edit so this is what I'm doing for y'all in here and then you can also change the color you can go to help and it it'll tell you basically about the uh, EQ it ain't for so much information but it's enough for you just to know what's going on then you can change the color like working with the light in the dark and the dark on the light <coughs> that's pretty much it man that's a rundown T-Rex equalizer get over the traction and go ahead and get the T equalizer it come with the doll eccentric collection it's a hundred dollars the original price is gonna be 150 whenever this off over but you need to get over and get it man it look good the EQ good downside is it's only five bands but you spend a hundred dollars and you gonna get 16 plugins and this good EQ gonna come in it uh, it's y'all no break so it's your boy Obey who say what's up records and I'm signing out peace